Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, Kim Lachelle. And it's been a while, and I've missed you. I hope you're doing well. I am. I can't complain. I'm here to share with you my Creative Expo Taiwan 2022 order and other things that I ordered from Tokubetsu, AKA Judy. I've ordered from Judy several times, but this time she took on a new role, personal shopper for 20 people, including me. The 2022 Creative Expo took place in Gansheng, Taiwan, August 10th through the 14th. However, I didn't decide to jump on the bag wagon of Judy becoming my personal shopper until the 13th. I hadn't planned on participating, but when I started seeing the creators like Mr. Eggplant and our studio hang and some sort of firm post on Instagram, I just wanted to be a part. <laughs> so I reached out to Judy to see if it was too late for me to participate. And she said no. Now the dilemma for me was I didn't know how to use the Line app. I know it's like Kakao Talk, so I was familiar with that app, but not Line. And I went back and watched her Twitch videos, giving all the information on how she was going to conduct personal shopping for the Creative Expo. Right now you're seeing these bags on screen. And Judy gave us an option of choosing bags that she collected from different booths. Okay, back to my story. So once I downloaded the Line app, I couldn't find Judy and she had to find me so we could connect. And then she invited me on the 2022 Expo Line conversation. And I was overwhelmed. I saw all the messages, all the pictures, and I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? So Judy introduces me to the group that now I'm a part of this buying community. And I don't feel comfortable because I'm not familiar with the app. I'm not sure how to upload pictures in an album. So I decided that I would communicate with Judy directly until I was more familiar with the app. This freebie from Hello Studio is the best. I was so happy to get this boarding pass. Back to the story. I started sharing pictures of items I was interested in only to find out that these creators were not at the expo. So I'm glad that I didn't go initially into the group because I'm sure they were aware of those things. So therefore, I started paying attention on what people were ordering, what people had requested already or currently looking at. Plus, Judy was doing Twitch updates from the expo, which were very helpful. I do have a small funny story. If you know me, I never get notifications on apps because I don't like to hear the dingy noise. I don't, you know, no banners. If I look at my phone, I will see your message. If I don't, I'll get to it later. However, for this expo, I had the ringer alert on. It was ding, 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 ding. That's all I heard from line was ding, 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 ding. People communicating all times of the night. And it was super exciting and super exhilarating. It was a lot of fun. These postcards from Yamadoro were just beautiful. And I just told Judy, pick five. I didn't care which style, just pick five. I figured she wouldn't go wrong with whatever she picks from Yamadoro. And they are just absolutely beautiful. 
The only thing I wish now is that I had her pick 10 or 15 or 20 because they are super adorable. I kept seeing this a kind of cafe stamp and once I realized it was a stamp because I wasn't sure if it was a stamp at first but once I realized it was a stamp I decided to buy it however I thought it was a wood stamp and not this hard foam stamp I probably would have passed on this purchase however it said expo and I can use it next year for the Creative Expo again, since it doesn't say 2022. I guess you can say if Judy offers this service for 2023, I will be participating. When it comes to hours products, it's never a correct way to open them. I always find them very difficult to tear without destroying the label or some part of the packaging. And I only know this is because I have this stamp in the oval, embroidery loop, and other stationary goodies. When I saw Pink's Diary Instagram video of this fountain pen nib wax seal, I immediately snapped a picture and sent Judy a message. I just think it's so unique to have the nib head. The only thing is the wrong year, 1989. I need it 1986, 1992, but we'll be okay with 1989. I am definitely a sucker for clocks. And when I saw this Yamadoro stamp, I knew I had to have it. It took me a while to realize which one I wanted because they had one that was already stamped out for you. And then they had this one where you have the actual hands of the clock, the number 12, and that is the one that I wanted so I can change the time and do different things with it. But yes, this was definitely a must buy for me. I'm not doing much editing. If anything, I'm fast forwarding certain parts of the video and cutting out just a little. It's just easier for me just to do it this way and it will be a long one. So you can journal with me, do some cleaning, relax, and just enjoy yourself. So here comes all the washi tape and PE tape. And right now I'm just gonna show you the rolls and then later on in the video, I'll do a process video documenting all the purchases in my Hobonichi. So that's another reason why this video is so long. And when I get to that part, I'll just fast forward it to X with some nice music. So most of these brands I've used previously, like Our Studios, Mr. Egg Plan, Some Sort of Firm, and Sonia's Illustration. However, there were some new ones introduced for me, and they are the Hello Studios. I don't have anything from them previously, and this brand called Ounce Studio. So Judy had a few extra of these Meow Illustration I believe it's called Gotcha Stamps. Meow Illustration wasn't the only creator that had these gotcha items. There were other creators that had them also. When I was a child, I used to love going to the stores that had the candy and toy machine dispenser. You put a quarter in and you never know what are you gonna get or how much you're gonna get. But this is what the gotcha surprises remind me of.
as I'm doing this voiceover and I'm like, what's in this next package I'm about to open? I don't remember. It's my favorite wood stamps. So there was some items that I ordered from Judy after the expo and particularly Mr. Eggplant. These were two cute Hello Studio stamps that Judy had extra of. That is the Hello Studio tape that I ordered. It has been a few years since I've ordered Yamadoro stamps and I guess at Creative Expo, I saw a number of Yamadoro stamps that I wanted. The Yamadoro stamps usually have nice phrases on the stamps. This stamp says, stand firm in the wind and the other stamp says, fly in the wind. There isn't any cute phrases on these two stamps. So this stamp and the previous stamp set actually go with the clock that I showed you earlier from Yamadora. I like that this stamp is two stamps in one. It makes me feel like I'm getting a bigger bang for my money. You can tell with every stamp I make with this, it would be perfect. There's no extra rubber around the stamp. These next two stamps were ordered directly from Mr. Eggplant, which Judy was instrumental in getting these. You all know I'm a sucker when it comes to alphabet stamps. And when I saw these on Mr. Eggplant's website, I definitely wanted them along with the number stamps. So these next three tapes are Mr. Eggplants, but they're not PET tapes or washi tapes. They're actually packaging tape. So this tape, I kept seeing it on Instagram from Mr. Eggplants and I really wanted it, but it was already sold out by the time I decided to join in the Creative Expo buying group. However, I was stalking Mr. Eggplants IG. So I knew that she was gonna have some items available soon. And when her website went live with new items, I took pictures of what I wanted, which was this tape and other items, and created an album for Judy. Judy probably thought I was a pest because I was like, can you order this now? Because I knew this tape was gonna sell out immediately, and actually it did. She secured my order, and probably four hours later, this tape was gone. So I bet you can guess what tape I will be using when mailing packages. Now, since I participated in the 2022 Creative Expo buying group, I know for 2023, I'm gonna do things a little different. I'm coming in on the first day, not the second or third day. I'm going to look for new artists because that is something that I saw April aka Penguins Creative do along with others in the group. Plus not coming in on the first day I missed out on a few creators that I really wanted to support. Don't you hate when you think you're recording and you actually aren't? thought I was filming when I was stamping those two stamps by Hello Studio and wasn't. However, here is the washi tape by Hello Studio. I'm doing a horrible job showing this tape. Okay, I think it's time to fast forward the video and add some music.
this is such a beautiful washi tape. I just love all the colors. It feels like summer, spring, and I will be using it all year round because it just makes me happy. I saw Chelsea, those with words, use this on her Twitch stream and I immediately sent Judy a message and said, can you add this tape to my order? I will be using the Owl's Journal for 2023 and I'm not going to open it now. We'll talk about it later when we get close to the end of the year. This is the Ounce Studio washi tape and you know washi tape is so hard to roll out and then roll it back in. So I'm just showing you some of the images, not the whole roll. So the story behind this tape, it's Sonia's illustration life. And Judy had this in her shop, but she only had samples. I wanted a whole roll. So she allowed me to buy what she had available, which was great because this is discontinued and I really wanted it because I just love the images. Who doesn't like a good hamburger and french fry washi? I was able to get one item from some sort of firm and this one is called Glimpse of Shadow. It's a matte PET tape. When you order from Judy, you always look forward to these beautiful collage bags and her freebies that she gives to you. And I was so glad that she gave us this picture that she took at the exhibit center and included a note card thanking us for shopping with her. And it is so many nice freebies in here.
This is Mr. Eggplant's PET tape called Old Leaves. And it just reminded me of fall, autumn weather. And I just wanted to make sure I included this one in my order. I can tell I haven't recorded in a very long time because the focusing on my camera is just off. So just bear with me. I believe it kind of clears up later in the video. Can we talk about the power of editing? This is my second time cutting this image and I messed up when I got ready to use the King Gem Tempra R24 scissors. You want to put the back of the image in the slot and then press down on the handle. So here's another situation where I probably got on Judy's nerves. Paper Platts put a video on IG showing these scissors and my stationary friend shared the story with me and I'm like, I need those. I want those, I gotta find those, where are they? So I started my search looking for them, didn't find them, found them, very expensive shipping costs very expensive nowhere in japan nowhere in u.s i just couldn't find them just didn't make any sense however they were in taiwan so i found the store that had them in taiwan and i'm like judy can you get these can you order these right now please thank you so here's the box for the scissors and these scissors are old because when I started doing my research, I think I found a video and the video was three years old. So where have these scissors been? I know you all have seen me struggling, trying to get the back of the PET tape off. So this is like a God sent item for me. This is Mr. Eggplant's Self Study Washi Tape. I'm not sure I ordered this tape. However, it has been on my list because I felt that I could use this in my Korean study journal since it's about studying and I should be studying 24 seven so I can learn the language. Mr. Eggplant's Eggs Menu. We have eggs every weekend for breakfast and I just thought this eggs washi tape was just perfect. You have the eggs with bagels, eggs with donuts, you have the menu, eggs and bacon, different raw eggs. It's just a nice washi tape full of eggs, lemon cake, eggs over easy. Here's another Mr. Egg Plants PET tape. It's called Recycled. And it reminds me of some sort of firm's style of tape.
Can we just say, these scissors are amazing. This is another Mr. Eggplant's tape. This is washi tape and it's called Reflect Notes 2. So here's another Mr. Eggplant's PET tape, and it's called Skyline. It's a matte tape. It was hard trying to film this tape. It reminds you of negatives. Camera negative? I believe this is one loop. It was hard for me to find the beginning and end of the loop. I really like these alphabets, but they were pain to get in and out of this box. Plus, I couldn't tell some of the letters, so I took the initiative and just wrote the letter on them so there's no mistake when I get ready to stamp. I didn't bother to stamp the numbers. I'll remember I have them. I realized that I didn't cut a sample of the Hello Studio tape, so I went back and added it into my journal so I can remember that I do have it and somewhat what it looks like. Now it's time to add all the stamp images so I'll remember what stamps I purchased. So before I can stamp the next image, I have to clean this off or I will probably have ink all over my hands and all over my page.
it's time to document the wax seal. You know when you do a wax seal and you don't like the image? So what I do is save the wax and cut it up and I melt it. I added two wax beads and it's more than I really need. I'm really happy with this. It turned out really nice. So that is my Creative Expo order and other things that I decided to add on. I want to thank Judy for being my personal shopper, dealing with me when I didn't know what I was doing, securing special orders for me. I really appreciate those things. All the wonderful goodies that you provided, the bags, the note card, the stamps, because I know it was a lot dealing with 20 plus people and curating our orders making sure we got everything and can we talk about the shipping and packaging I know that was stressful so Judy I'm gonna thank you again for being my personal shopper it was a pleasure doing business with you and those that have stayed to the end of the video thank you I appreciate you watching I appreciate your time because you don't have to be here Thank you.